In the new labs window from the user menu, as part of a public beta, you can now activate self-service data preparation. It enables new run possibilities such as directly updating a destination data set with your preparation to improve its quality, and to map columns before writing to the destination. Let's take this preparation as an example. Here we want to update several columns and then run the preparation to another existing dataset. We can start by splitting some information into two columns, and deleting the unnecessary ones. Now that the preparation is ready, we just need to click Run. We could also download the dataset as a file with the local export feature. You can see that the Run menu now offers three possible destination types, existing dataset, new dataset, or current dataset. In our case we want to run the preparation to a similar existing dataset. Because of the split function we used, we now need to map the new content from the source dataset to the destination dataset. Columns with a similar name are automatically mapped. Once we're done, we can run the preparation. Optionally, the logs are available and can be downloaded. Here is our destination dataset. In this monthly release, some enhancements have been made to the PostgreSQL components in Talon Studio. First of all, the JDBC driver for PostgreSQL and Postgres Plus version 9 and later has been upgraded. Older versions are now deprecated. The PostgreSQL components now support authentication for the cloud providers Google Cloud Platform, Amazon AWS, and Microsoft Azure. No changes have been made to the user interface since you can use the same authentication fields to connect to your favorite cloud provider. In this example, the PostgreSQL connection component connects to an Azure database for PostgreSQL. Records are being sent to the PostgreSQL database hosted on Microsoft Azure, and are also printed in the Run console after executing the job. As for the PostgreSQL output bulk exec component, the new option Use an existing connection has been added. When selected, it allows you to use a connection created by a T PostgreSQL connection or TDB connection component. And finally, the option Use Local File for Copy is now enabled by default in all PostgreSQL bulk components. It can be found in its advanced settings, and it allows you to copy files from your local machine by default. The libraries and the dynamic distribution jar files required by Talon Studio are downloaded from these Talon official repositories by default. You can set up proxies on your local repositories and link the proxies to these Talent official repositories to make each studio instance download the same libraries and dynamic distribution jar files much faster. Then you can configure the proxies in Talent Studio. Take the Talent Libraries proxy repository as an example. A proxy repository Talent Libraries has been set up on the local Nexus repository. It is linked to the Talent Studio Libraries official repository. Then in Talon Studio, you can configure the proxy repository on the Artifact Proxy Settings view in the Project Settings dialog box. With this monthly release, the username and password configured in this view will be stored in Eclipse Secure Storage instead of in the project. For the username and password that have already been saved in the project, they will be moved to the Eclipse Secure Storage. In this way, the credentials will not be shared on the Git repository when you are working on a remote project. Some user experience improvements have been made for the repository context wizard and the context view for a job or route in this monthly release. First of all, you can see the UI layout, the name of the context view for a job or route, the name of the repository context wizard, and some UI texts and button labels have been improved. Secondly, a new multi-select drop-down list view environments is provided. By default, the values for all context environments are displayed in the context variable table. This new drop-down list allows you to choose the context environments to be shown in the context variable table and it helps simplify the table display. And then, the usage of the enable prompt checkbox is also optimized. It is now applied globally to all context environments, and the context variable name is now used as the prompt label. Take this sample job as an example. The prompt is enabled on the file name context variable. This context variable is used to configure the file name field for the tfile input delimited component. When running the job in any of its context environment, you can see a prompt for the variable value and edit it.
the August release provides a brand new metadata for data integration. You can now store information on BigQuery database in the repository tree view, and then, reuse it in your standard job. This information can be used to set the connection parameters such as data description with the schema, or it can be used to perform queries. Let's have a more precise look into an existing BigQuery metadata in Studio. The creation of the BigQuery metadata is made by giving your service account and project ID. After creation you can easily edit BigQuery connection or retrieve and edit BigQuery table by right-clicking the metadata entry. Then, to reuse the metadata information, you only have to drag and drop the metadata item to your palette, and choose the component needed from the list. In this example, we are using tBigQuery input. After that, you can find all the metadata information already filled in the component, such as the schema, project ID, and query.